Hi and welcome to Visual Studio Code intro video. Today we're going to look at the setup and basics of um, getting started with Visual Studio Code to help you become a more productive coder. Um, we can download the product at code.visualstudio.com. This is the website I'm at. If you click this big green button here, um, if you want, you can also download the Insiders version of Visual Studio Code. It runs alongside VS Code um, and it builds nightly, so it always has the latest features and bug fixes. This is the version we use um, to build uh, VS Code. So I'm going to click that, click the zip file, and now I can open the app. We'll say yes, I want to open that. And here we're taken to an untitled screen, um, which allows us to just quickly start uh, typing if we want. If you want a more uh, detailed introduction, you can go here to the Help menu and then the Welcome page. Um, and this will give you an inside scoop into some of the features that we've built to help you get started. Um, so some things uh, to start off with, we have open folder and clone git repository. You can just paste in a repository URL and we'll clone it here um, to use with VS Code. You can open your recent projects, see helpful documentation, and then these quick links are meant to help you get started really quickly. So this interactive playground, the first one, is these are the some of the more most popular features in VS Code to help you be a productive uh, code editor. Uh, so we have multi-cursor editing, IntelliSense, and you'll notice that this is interactive, which is why we call it the interactive playground. If I go in here and type dot, it's actually going to run the JavaScript language service um, so I can see the methods uh, and variables for that object just like I would in my real code. This can be helpful in just getting your feet wet and understanding uh, what are some of the things that VS Code can do that my other editor can't. Um, and also to make sure that VS Code has the features that your other editor does, which we think it does. Um, is line actions, rename refactoring. If we go in here and say rename symbol, rename book to movie, you can see that that happens just like it would in your code. With code formatting, code folding, errors and warnings, snippets, and here with Emmet syntax. Um, so a lot of lot of things here in the interactive playground just to let you get going. I'll let you jump through that in detail. Um, we don't need to do it here for the video. Interface overview. This gives us a general. So VS Code is a simple editor. Um, this gives you a general overview of how the interface works. So over here on the left, this is called the sidebar. Um, and these are the different actions available in the sidebar. The file explorer, search across files, source code management, launch and debug, manage extensions. Down here at the bottom, view errors and warnings. Um, that is available with the status bar. Uh, find and run all commands uh, is right here for the command palette. So if I go here to view command palette, you can see all the different commands in the command palette. Um, and you'll notice there's a whole bunch of things in the view menu. So um, if I do this show status bar, that there's where the errors and warnings are right there. Uh, we'll close that guy. Um, and you can also toggle um, the sidebar so we can move this sidebar to the right if we want. Uh, so we can move the sidebar to the left. Um, so you have some customization of how you want VS Code to work. Um, and we can even go another step and change our color theme. So notice here I just did this quick link um, and now we have the color theme. If you're not, uh, if you don't want to go to the welcome page to get to that and we can open the command palette, this is where all the commands are. We type theme, color theme, and then we can just move up and down to preview it. We find one we want, abyss, let's press enter and now we're using that color theme. Um, some other things to show here quickly is the keyboard shortcuts. So this is a printable PDF for your operating system that you're on. Um, you can print this, uh, it helps you memorize and see what you can do in VS Code. And then closely related to that is this change default keyboard shortcuts. So this is pretty cool. We call these key maps. Um, so if you're coming from Vim, Sublime Text, IntelliJ, Atom, Visual Studio, and you don't want to have to relearn key bindings, um, that's why we made these key maps. So you can install the Sublime Text key map extension. You can see all of the keyboard shortcuts that we make available to you. Um, so that you don't have to relearn, you can just use the muscle memory you had from your other tools. 
Um, we can also see here to configure settings, uh, which we'll go over this in more detail in another video. Um, a final thing to show here is the Zen mode, um, pretty popular feature. So we go here, view, toggle, Zen mode. Um, this allows us to really focus on our code editing. So um, if I want to uh, get in here and remove all the other distractions, we do Zen mode. If I want to close that there, um, we can toggle it out of. So short, quick introduction to VS Code. Um, there's a lot more in the product documentation and in the other intro videos to get you started. Um, thanks for joining us on this, uh, this video series and uh, check out some of the others and let us know what you think. Um, we're on Twitter at the at code handle. Thank you and happy coding.